Dzień dobry Państwu, proszę Państwa, witam z centrum Toronto, praktycznie ulica Young i Eglinton. Tutaj w jednym z budynków jest no, rada regulująca sprawy zawodowe psychologów tutaj naszych, ontaryjskich i przed tą radą protest, czy przed tą izbą, protest w obronie Jordana Petersona, znanego psychologa, który przez tęże radę za niepolitycznie poprawne wypowiedzi został skierowany na dokształt internetowy. Także no, po prostu metody na razie takie lekko stalinowskie, ale, bo jeszcze nie obozy pracy, ale niedługo na razie tylko pozbawienie prawa do wykonywania zawodu bo jeżeli na ten dokształt jeżeli na ten dokształt profesor Peterson nie pójdzie no to musicie liczyć z pozbawieniem licencji zobaczymy ile będzie ludzi no i czy w ogóle wolność słowa nadal w tej prowincji dla mieszkańców coś znaczy bo oczywiście żyjemy w czasach kiedy ta wolność słowa jest w niesłychany sposób ograniczana dzień poprzedni godzina 12, a protest w godzinach lunchu, więc trochę ludzi jest. It's wonderful. So what you're doing here today, we're going to, we're going to um, fix him up, get him released from his... Uh, from their... It is always important to fight for our civilization. It's all about freedom. It's all about freedom of choice, freedom of expression. And what they try to do, they try to control us. They want to suppress us. They want to silence us. But we must not be part of that, and we are not. And that's why I'm here to fight to, uh, to support Jordan Peterson and to support all these courageous Canadians that did fight for their freedom and because of that some of them lost their job so yes it's important to be here and I believe that we will win that battle together we will because as you know the bad guys are always the ones who censor we are the good guys and that battle is for the future of our country so that's why I'm here today for us it's especially important because we came most of us came here from the communist Poland. We know those uh, methods, we, we know how, how it is done, how it's being done. Yeah. And unfortunately we are seeing this again uh, happening in the well, prior, prior free country where, where we uh, immigrated to. Yeah. So it's really, really very sad. So thank you. Thank, thank you much. Thank you again. I make it. I just keep building on that Oh, no, I want to just stay here for a sec, but it's good to see you. Can I have an F for freedom? Can I have a U for unity? Can I have a C for, co for co collusion? I'll see you soon. Why are you here? Why, why defending well, uh, <laughs> Jordan Dr. Jordan Peterson? Peterson? Yeah. yeah, I'm here. I'm standing for my children, my grandchildren. If we lose free speech in our country, we are going to end up in more tyranny than we're in now. So, um, and Jordan Peterson's quote, actually, a world without free speech is a world of slavery and tyranny. And I stand for him. He speaks the truth and they're terrified of him. Do you think that we are slowly sliding into tyranny right now? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no question. And for some reason, the media won't cover it. And it's just so, it's so, so sad. Are there enough people to turn it around? I have hope. <laughs> <laughs> I have hope that there's more people out there that will speak for truth. Yes, I'm okay. always hopeful. Okay, thank yes, you very much. Yes, thank and, you. Uh, may I have your name? Anne-Marie. Thank you very much. Marie. Thank you. Yes, All thank best. you. And you guys, why are you yeah. here? Can I ask you? I, I'm from the Polish meet. I'm from the Polish meet. Yeah, I heard, I heard. Well, I'm here to support Jordan Peterson. Yeah. Uh, why is it so important and uh, what does he mean for you? Uh, what was his meaning? 
message. And... Well, I, I agree with a lot of what he says. Maybe not everything. Um, I just, I just disagree with how uh, his job is being threatened, right? And and not on anything specific. Just very vague accusations. Nothing specific. And, and if, if he can be threatened, then anybody can be threatened, right? Exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. I agree with you. Totally. Because Jordan Peterson, as uh, Joe Rogan said, uh, he reached the flyaway velocity. His uh, livelihood does not depend on the uh, on on, uh, on his uh, uh, well being psychologist right now, but uh, others. And I think this is for for silencing the, the others. And actual end came from the communist Poland here, and, and th these were the math methods. Used, uh, of course, they were. Yeah. yeah. So they were the same thing. And why are you here? My father and my mother went to the Soviet Union back in the 60s. My father was a professor at the University of Toronto. And he's been talking about the problems of the bureaucracy taking over the university probably for the last 30 years. So when I heard Jordan Peterson talking about the problems in the university and also about the indoctrination in some of the um, studies courses that they now have in place there. And so when I heard Jordan Peterson speaking five years ago, I knew he was right about the, uh, the universities and I also um, because of, I, I spent a, a day in East Germany back in the 70s, and I remember the way people were. Yeah. They were, un, I spoke German, and they were unwilling to speak with me. They acted as if I didn't even exist. Yep. I was a, a, a public school teacher, an elementary school teacher, and I saw this happening. The change in the curriculum, the ch no longer teaching critical thinking skills, but you have to teach to the curriculum and teach to the test, and that's indoctrination. Yeah. So there's all sorts of areas in which I agree with what he's doing, and and I think he's our he's our only hope, frankly, Do you in think, Canada. Uh, th there are enough people to turn the tide. And one person can change this. We only need well, one strong person, and like he so said that like Solzhenitsyn, as <laughs> yeah. Solzhenitsyn changed the world. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So yeah, we need to stand together, but but we need to, we need to save Canada because the state of Canada now is shocking. Right. I spend a fair bit of time in Europe, even in Italy, and the difference between Italy and Canada is shocking. We have no freedom here anymore. The way COVID was handled was a disaster. Yeah, yeah. I so, think she's here. I went back to Poland during these COVID uh, times, and well, there were kind of lockdowns, but nothing that. No, no, Italy uh, was fine after the initial shock, Draconia, which was understandable. They, they, they came right out of it, and they're acting normally. Here, people are still frightened. Yeah. Trudeau is frightening everybody. Right, right. May I have your name? Elizabeth. And uh, you, sir? Your name? Your name? Uh, Cornell. Thank you so much. Good for All you to do this. Thank All the best. All the best. All the best. So I work for the Polish community media in Mississauga, Poland, so it's a week I just wonder, why are you here and why, why is it important for you? Uh, I'm here to support Dr. Jordan Peterson. I picked up his book about six years ago, uh, 12 Rules for Life, An Antidote to Chaos. And I think uh, that book helped uh, to bring forward a lot of uh, key issues that we're facing today. It is an, indeed an antidote to chaos that he put forward and we're kind of experiencing that chaos in Don't this day and age. Don't you think that he's a big helper? He helps so many people. So many across the world. On. Young men, women, older men like myself, I'm 51. He helped me uh, get through some tough periods in my life just from his words of wisdom. And, and not only that, but his online presence which helped more people than certainly it may have pissed off a couple of people not everybody has you know the perfect speech online anywhere at any time so we can all be guilty of that you know what, what do you think about these methods because the, those were unheard of uh, a couple of years ago that, uh, that somebody is uh, oh absolutely but he was warning about that like so many years ago he, he kept quoting uh 
uh, you know, that book, uh, you know, written by someone who suffered through a labor camp in, you know, a communist regime. Yeah, yeah. I can't, the name doesn't come to mind right away. He, yeah. He, but in a way, he kind of, you know, was trumpeting all that stuff beforehand and it brought it to him in a way, but in a good way because he's standing up for us and we're, we've got his back as well. Do you think that we are sliding into the authoritarian state? That, uh, yeah, no, I think it's it's definitely the signs are there, but I think there's a lot of pushback. I think the Canadian truckers. Anyway, nice question. Yeah. Do, do you yeah. see hope? Do you think uh, that there's so much there's hope? Possibility to turn the tide around. Absolutely, but it might come down to the eleventh hour. I'm afraid because we're waking up fast but very late. But you know, if you look at Twitter these days and see the headlines that are all the way down the page. It's just like problem after problem that we're facing. That wasn't there five years ago. I've been aware of these things for like 15 years and, and I, I thought I was alone then and I feel less alone now, that's for sure. So yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. May I have your name? My name is Tim. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. We encourage you to be fully self-expressed today. It might be your last chance. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm, I'm from uh, the Polish Community Media and Mississauga. Where? And I just want to ask you, why are you here? What, why is this so important? Because you, that you have I, this uh, well, board. Really. Because it's important for us. We all have our individuals. We have uh, freedom of speech. Uh, we cannot be told by professional associations, regulatory bodies and threatened by them that we have to toe a certain party line. We have to give that freedom a thought for... Exactly, you use this, uh, this, this uh, phrase party line, I came from communist Poland here. And yes. Well, this is for me like a bad dream that we are yes, yes, to yes, the yes, same situation. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, we need to open our eyes and see what the truth is, okay? And our mainstream media is, uh, I, you know, I, I, I used to be a liberal, but the Liberal Party today is not what it was 40 years ago, okay? So now I am an independent. I do, it doesn't matter to me if you're CP, Green, I don't care. We should all have the right to free speech and be able to speak without having our livelihoods affected. This I is extremely important. We should be for common sense because there yes, is less yes, and less yes, sense yes, 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 yes. And I am I, I'm yeah. here because of to defend the right of free speech because I think that this college has has way over overstepped their bounds. The any complaints against Jordan Peterson had nothing to do with his um, work as a think psychologist. That this is not about Jordan Peterson, this is about well, the others. And this is the question, why? Why have, why have they really. made this overreach? But we know that the College of Physicians and Surgeons has also put uh, restrictions on their members and what they can say and do um, when it comes to this narrative about the COVID narrative. And they want us to follow the science. Well, scientists are uh, the question. whole thing about we science is that well, they question things Science is all about questioning. questioning. Yes, it's all <laughs> so, about questioning. Yeah. So that's we why need to I'm have here. a proper debate. So, right. so that's why I'm here. Freedom of speech, I think, really needs to be defended. And this is a watershed moment for us. You, and you think so? This is a yes, watershed Yes, I do. Moment. And I think that Bill C-11 is the other thing. It's in the Senate already. Yeah. And they will this, silence, this government, uh, media like mine. <laughs> this government wants to wants to decide what we can see online. That is frightening, and I don't understand how anybody can support this liberal government when they're doing this to us. It's, Th it's this is my next question. Do you see hope? Do you think there is a I don't see any hope. To I don't turn this country around and then I don't go back. I, I wish I did. I, to the, freedom and liberty. I, I I don't see any hope because Trudeau can do a lot of damage in the next two years. Unless there's an election and we can get him out and Christian Freeland, who sits on a board of the WEF, unless we can get this corrupt government, totalitarian government out or approaching totalitarianism, yeah. um, I know I don't see any hope. And that's why I come to these protests because we need to rise up. We need to protest these things. It, our, our freedoms are, are being threatened every day and it's getting worse. So. I, I want to see more people come out and do this. Wake up, wake up, people, mm -hmm. before it's too late. Okay, let's have a hope then. <laughs> May I have your name, just a name? Liz. Thank you so much.
Oh, you are from Oakville. You came here uh, all all the way from Oakville. Yeah. Really? That's thank you so much. So I they're gonna. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And may I have your name, ma'am? Just a name. Nancy. Name. Nancy. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. I think that the power of the regulatory bodies is excessive. Absolutely. Okay. It's way too excessive. There is nothing to do with them. The definition of professionalism. The college is unprofessional. What? Same as in the totalitarian communist countries, they silence people. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Just, uh, well, um, making, making them unable to support themselves. To right, money. yes, yes, yes. Or taking your bank accounts uh, exactly. for donating $25 or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a. Uh, if I didn't want the mandate, I had my own reason. You have this your own scary. reason. This is scary. This is scary because this is how it works in totalitarian countries. Yes, and this, is, this, is how, this is how it starts. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a very slow sort of kind of insidious sort of disease. And you don't even know what's happening. And then you right. wake up and in another generation, it'll be over. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Hey, there's David. From the Polish media, Polish media and Mr. Sala, may I ask you, why are you here? Why are you defending uh, Professor Jordan Peterson? Uh, I, I'm here because, apart from anything else, I happen to have been born in Hungary. I came to Canada as a result of the Hungarian Revolution, fleeing communism. And um, to be honest with you, the measures that the college is taking is directly reminiscent and taken from the playbook of how Stalinist states dealt with dissent before the fall of communism. And I think that's unacceptable in Canada. I think it's very important for Canadian people to be made aware of what's at risk here. And for somebody to have to be held accountable to their professional organization for their political beliefs is straight textbook Stalinism. We know that because we came here from the communist countries and uh, we, had the, we had this experience, I mean, the older generation. But uh, do you think that the Canadians realize what's really uh, in stake here? I think that's the problem. When you, when you say you and I know about this because we came from there, the reality is that any aware person who spent any time in a history class who could bother to learn about the past would know about this. It's not the biggest secret in the world. This is exactly what communism and Stalinism and Marxist-Leninism is like. And the, the administrators of this professional organization have actually chosen to adopt those tactics. And Canadians have to know about it. If they don't already know, it's our job to make them know because there's so much at risk. Do you think there's still hope to the tide will reverse? Uh, honestly, less and less so. Uh, I don't want to sound uh, you know, disappointed by the turnout. I have a very high regard for everybody who's here. But there, there, it's fair enough, it's a working day and it's a cold day, but Jordan Peterson has supposedly, and I believe this, but he has millions of supporters. I can't believe that two or three thousand of those supporters could not have figured out a way to get here today. I think that the stakes are that high. And, um, and when I compare it to the turnout at Queen's Park every second Saturday or so, that was happening over the course of the mandates and so on, uh, those are serious turnouts. And the weather was colder and everything was harder. And admittedly, it was a weekend. But I don't really I don't understand why this issue is not resonating. Part of me understands because the media chooses to express it in a certain way. So if the media does not turn this into an important issue, neither will 99% of the Canadians. And of course we know that the media does not think this is an important issue. In fact, the media is probably supportive of the college. And that in itself tells you how dangerous our situation is. From our experience in the communist days, the media is part of the problem. Because when the communists take over the country, the first thing they do... Is the radio station, the number one. Yeah. Broadcasting antennas go first. Why? Because that's how you control the people. But here, unfortunately, the media has been taken over voluntarily. They've handed over their mandate to the ruling party. And that is probably the most concerning thing that we're facing right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sure. It's George Berger. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, 
Well, look, uh, hopefully something will galvanize people, but I, I worry about that. It just gets worse and worse. Uh, the problem is that there is going all over the world. You know, we are living in a communist world, communist country. We had this beacon of hope, the free United States, the free West, uh, and uh, you know there was a hope that uh, and it, and again a place to escape. From. Now, where do you escape from here? Yeah, it's it's concerning. Anyway, thanks for taking the time and recording this. Good for you. Well, that's what I do. I mean, to, to be to feel free, still free in this country. Standing with I couldn't stay home knowing that we have another uh, person here and thank God we have those heroes in Canada that don't aren't afraid, that don't mind standing off and Dr. Peterson is one of them. He has shown true leadership, he's standing for truth and we have to stand with him and that's why I'm here because I stand behind him and stand behind what he stands for. Excuse me, ladies. Uh, I'm from the Polish uh, community newspaper in Mississauga. Uh, uh, channel. May I ask you why are you here? Why is this, why is this important for you? Uh, we have been following Dr. Peterson for quite some time. Certainly, I have. Uh, he's one of the best things that have happened to has happened to Canada in a long, long time. And uh, his qualifications in quality in every sense are so uh, I mean so obvious and clear to anybody who has any humanity that we think that it's really important that he gets uh, supported as the college of, of uh, psychologists has uh, began to persecute him he's had enough of persecution so far and uh, he certainly needs all kinds of people to stand up for him. So that's my position. Don't you think it's not exactly about Dr. Peterson, it's like a, about others, to silence others uh, who are more dependent in the livelihood on... on, on the, you are right. Like His livelihood is never in danger. That, that is true. Uh, but uh, he's uh, so visible that he speaks for men. And so that's why, you know, you are right. Many other people have suffered more. Well, that's the spirit of it. Well, I had this experience again. I came here from Communist Poland in the old days. So did we. Oh, so did we come from. We oh, really? were from Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Way back when. Yeah, Way so back when. We know how, how it does it. That's exactly why I am here. Because the holy people you should not have a place in granting professional licenses. Yeah. First you ask about... This is exactly what the Communists did. First you start with the political views. Next thing you have re-education. And the final step is you have to belong to the proper party to get a professional license. It's not just for psychologists. It can happen in any profession. Once you bring a political ideology into profession, well, that's, that's, you know, where it goes. Do, do, you, do you like you still think, uh, think that there is still enough uh, people to turn the tide around, to turn this country around? I or definitely we are on have the path to, to... I have to hope so. I have, there are lots of young people here too. I am optimistic, yes. But but you wonder. These days you wonder. So we'll see. And yes, we sure hope so. Yeah. So you came from Czechoslovakia, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. May I have your name? What's your name? My name is Helena Slampora and I've been in Canada since the Soviet invasion into our country. Wow. Since 1968. Yes. <laughs> That's right. And and um, I have made that I requalified, so I am a member of perfection, but not not, not quite, you know, as, mm -hmm. as the regulations require. Anyway. Mm -hmm. And and you, ma'am? 
I, I was Viera Mraz, and I'm also from the profession, but I don't have a license because I did not qualify. Okay. Thank you, Alina. Yeah. Good, good luck. All the best. All the best. For us all. No, no, we are going let's to hope, hope. Let's hope. hope that this country stays Absolutely. free. Yeah. Because, the way it was. Thank you. The way it was when we came in. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's all tailwind. He will only win by this because the people, the people in Canada and worldwide are standing with him. They're standing with him. So no matter what they try, like I said, it's a tailwind for him. It's, it's, it's only gonna, it's only gonna propel him further because not everybody is willing to give up free speech. Not everybody is willing to give up the truth. And you know, when you speak about people around the world standing for him, you know, I look at the Twitter followers for the college, it's around yes, 2,000. And for Jordan Peterson, it's in the millions. It's in the millions. Yeah, so what does that say? Exactly, exactly. That tells everything. And that's why you see, at short notice, you see what's gathering here, you see the people are here. The people that you see here standing around are absolutely not willing, are absolutely not willing, just like he is not willing, to give up our God-given freedom. And I say again, this man is a God-gifted leader. And that's what's under attack here is leadership. We have a leadership crisis in this world and I thank God for people like uh, Dr. Peterson. Thank you so much for your time, Pastor. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, why are you here, sir? Why, why are you supporting Jordan Peterson? Uh, well, I'm not a fan of censorship in any way, shape, or form. But if you, go on, if you and I have a discussion, let's have an open discussion. Find out where we agree, where we don't agree. Not shut down. And, and, uh, and the whole point is to make other doctors afraid so they won't speak up. That's well, what that's this what, is about. That was my question. Don't you think that this is not about Jordan Peterson, it's about other people? It's a bigger message. To scare them, to right. well, make they, them afraid of... Uh, that's what they're up. That's what they've done all over the place, right? They make yep. an example of somebody, right? Look at Julian Assange. I know that we came here from communist Poland, exactly the same yeah. methods of uh, right. how it works. Well, that was less communism than totalitarianism, which is what's coming here, exactly. right? That's, it's authoritarian, uh, uh, totalitarian governments. Uh, they, they, no, 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 the tide is, the tide is turning. 49% of Americans believe that the excess deaths right now have something to do with this injection, right, the mRNA injections. And 15% don't know yet. So if you take half of the 15 and add it to the 49, that's a majority. So the tide is turning, the critical mass, which is called, when you reach the point, when the when you roll the snowball up to the top of the... Look around. In the middle, in the middle of the day, well, every, most people are working, keeping keeping their families fed. Yeah, this is for what we can do. It's a, it's a, it's a good I was at the protest in Montreal when they tried to lock us down. Literally, you know, curfews and everything else like that. And there was thousands of people, and it poured rain, and it didn't stop. Right? Don't you think another problem is education that they uh, stop uh, teaching kids critical thinking? But there are some subjects. Uh, they are taught not to talk uh, because there's a sort of party line on those subjects. You just uh, follow the party line. And, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, that, that's indoctrination and indoctrination. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I I was born in 1959, right? That when I grew up, the whole idea is that we wouldn't even be talking about this stuff anymore. We wouldn't even care religion or race or color or nothing anymore. We're just people. We have a one-to-one -one groups of people. We wouldn't that care. That's what Dr. Martin Luther King talked uh, yeah. about. Yep, absolutely. No race, not color. Right? Right? Yeah, just just humankind, right? And and, uh, you know, one day when the aliens land, we'll see how similar we all are compared to them. Right. Exactly. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, okay. yeah. May I have so, your name, just name? Oh, Bob. Bob. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah Ridley last name, but <laughs> on, on Twitter, I'm Bo Ridley. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, same thing with... Okay, yeah. I have a channel on here that's done, the G-O-N-I-E-C, which is oh. a messenger in Polish, and oh. it's a uh, okay. yep. Everybody's doing what they can.
again, right? The week. Exactly, exactly. And you know, there are many people in the Polish community who are simply scared, afraid. Of. Right, that's exactly what I'm getting at. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Look, they've done it to over and over again. Uh, you know, Ju Julian Assange is in Wiki for these leaks. Uh, what's his name? In Russia right now. Yeah, uh, and uh, you know, some people think that, well, in countries like Canada, it's impossible. Well, it is still possible. It's here in, now. In free countries, yeah. Uh, and when people, people st stop defending freedom, this is what happens. There are, uh, there are always people who want to take freedom from Well, it, it's a slow slide, but we've got to the point where enough people are going, okay, I, no more of this. Yeah. Time to turn the tide back, and that's what's happening now. Yeah. Not to mention, once the news comes out about the, the first of all, man-made disease, right? right? Uh, uh, second of all, then they have an experimental mRNA developed by the U.S. That's military. The and most people don't even know that because the media, the media, they've already done that, right? So, sorry. Yeah. And you know what? I see you guys because I am on the live stream right now and I'm following you guys. And I will have to say thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to support you actively. And if it's even with this small and brief phone call. And secondly, I would of course like to thank each and every one of you who made the effort and came out today to stand in and support this rally and by doing so you are actually defending freedom democracy and the rule of law thanks for being there you guys are awesome and uh but most most importantly obviously i would like to pay jordan b peterson my utmost respect i became aware of him when he spoke out against bill 16 uh, bill c16 which he very accurately back then described as legislation to compel speech and guys this was five years ago and look where we are today now, Mr. Peterson, I have been following you since then, and I truly admire how tenaciously you stand by your convictions and beliefs. It takes incredible strength and a strong moral compass to defy their illiberal attempts to force you into compliance. Mr. Peterson, this message is for you. You are an inspiration for so many people around the world and it is with great pleasure and an honor for me to be able to say today, heck yes, I stand in support with Jordan B. Peterson. Chciałem zapytać właśnie, czy nie jest pan e, rozczarowany, że jest mało Polaków? Nie, Polsce, nie tak. trochę Polaków jest, ale no, powinno być więcej ludzi, tylko że to jest w środku tygodnia zrobione, ludzie pracują, ale jak, jak na... 
w ciągu tygodnia, no to nawet trochę ludzi jest, nie? Powinno być więcej, ale to jest coś strasznego, co oni robią. Ale tu słyszę, że to jest taka, no, bardzo ważna czas teraz, że jednak może być tak, taki przełom. Czy będzie przełom, czy nie? Czy Pana zdaniem można zawrócić to, co się dzieje? Ja myślę, że ludzie jeszcze są, jeszcze za dużo ludzi śpi, muszą się obudzić. Myślę, że musi być jeszcze gorzej, żeby było lepiej, Aha. ale no może się nawrócą, no zobaczymy, co będzie. No jak na razie to co tu możemy powiedzieć, e, trzeba walczyć, musimy, musimy wszyscy razem mówić nie, przestać nosić maski i głosować na No właśnie, na kogo głosować, ja wiem, że pan no, prowi, jest partii. Prowincja na pro, w pro naszej prowincji to tylko na New Blue Party w Ontario. No ale to jest tak, że cały czas jest ten sam problem, podział głosów e, i, i e, część ludzi jednak głosuje na konserwatystów, dlatego że no, nie uważa, że te głosy będą dzielone, więc e, wygrają liberałowie. Jak no myśli? tak, no, problem jest taki, że po prostu konserwatyści nie są konserwatystami. Niestety, co się stało, to konserwatyści skręcili bardzo w lewo. Popierają to samo, co liberałowie i NDP i, i Greensi. Ludzie po prostu może nie są zorientowani i nie wiedzą y, dużo o naszej partii, a po drugie nas blokują wszędzie, nigdy, że nas nie pokazywali. Na przykład Brzyma nie dali na tą debatę główną, jak były wybory, to go skasowali, nie dali go, a on miał 20, 124 kandydatów, którzy startowali. Czyli gdzie, gdzie szukać partii? W internecie? Gdzie... No tak, w internecie New Blue, New Blue Party tak? w Ontario, no i tak samo I jesteśmy w prowincji. Tak, 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 można do mnie też się ze mną skontaktować. Dobra. I jest taka sprawa, że federalnie, no to tylko Maksym Menderniej został, nie? To jest no, ale jedyna... też jest kwestia tego podziału głosów. No, to, no to... ja rozumiem. Ja Wcześniej, jak była partia reform, też to i tak dalej, no to zrobiło to, że, e, że liberałowie przez trzy kadencje kwietniają, mają im zrobili. No tak, po złączyli się, zrobiła, połączyli się, no się ale połączyli. teraz właśnie jest, będzie problem, bo Pierre Poliwiej też dużo mówi dobrego, tylko że no niektórzy mu ufają, a niektórzy mu nie ufają, to zobaczymy jak... Na koniec zapytam o protest, e, profesora Petersona, czy pan go słucha, kim jest dla pana tak, po no ja akurat go aż tak e, du, dużo nie, nie słucham, nie? ale no niestety jestem, przeciwiam się temu, że oni mu chcą po prostu odebrać e, jego profesjonalną e, pracę, która nie ma nic wspólnego z tym, co on robi. To, że on wypowiedział, to, że on ma inne poglądy polityczne niż, e, niż lewac, nie, niż ta druga strona. Nie sądzi pan, że to nie chodzi o samego profesora Petersona, który ma jak gdyby już za zabezpieczoną przyszłość w tym sensie, że ma olbrzymie tak. wpływy, kanał, pieniądze, kontrakty, że to chodzi o innych, żeby ich zastraszyć. No to chodzi, żeby ich zastraszyć, no ale od, od tego się zaczyna. No jak można go osądzić o takie coś, tu, gdzie my mamy tutaj wolność, niby demokrację w tym kraju, w Kanadzie. I, a oni po prostu robią wszystko, żeby mu to odebrać, bo nie zgadzają się z jego poglądami. No to, to jest, to tak nie może być. Stalinist. To jest normalna dyktatura, komuna i trzeba to niszczyć. Think Musimy z tym walczyć. przedstawić na koniec. Paweł Krzemieniecki. Oh, I, I just want to ask you, why are you, why are you supporting Jordan Peele? Why is he important? Well, I'm, uh, my name is Amari Taylor and I'm one of the uh, lead organizers for Toronto Freedom Rallies every Saturday at Queen's Park. And we're all about free speech, right? Yeah. And the reason why I'm here is I support, you know, free speech and, you know, what Jordan Peele is going through. I'm a, I'm a follower of his, I have his books and stuff. Is he important for you or? It's in, it's, it's in, it's free speech is important for us, right? But more important, that it's important that we that people express themselves in the free speech every single day. Every Saturday, Queen's Park, 12 o'clock noon, we do a rally uh, for free speech, right? Every Saturday, okay? And the thing is that you have to be, you cannot defend free speech if you stay silent. So. I don't think that defending free speech is in the fact defending this country, that uh, the liberty, the freedom, it all depends on free speech. Yeah, everything depends on free speech. If you stay, the, what the government wants is us to stay silent, right? So again, this, 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 this rally is great. 
right? Well, but, <laughs> but I'm going to tell the people, are you here for Jordan Peterson they or are you here for free speech? Because if you're here for free speech, right, you have to be, you have to defend free speech for your fellow man. You can't just be for a celebrity, right, that you like, right, and then you could, yeah. The only thing is, it's not about Jordan Peterson. This is about silence, silencing others. Yeah. Okay. And we have, and, and we have, and we have, and we have, celebrity. Yeah, we have, and we have a problem with, and we have a problem in the, in the movement and stuff about people silencing other people, but then they, but then someone like Jordan Peterson, they're like, okay, they let they defend him, yeah. right? But yeah. their fellow man and woman, no, no, you don't, you can't, you can't do that. So everybody, everybody is watching this. Please defend free speech if you want to. If you want your voice to be heard, Queen's Park, 12 o'clock noon every Saturday by the horse statue. We're there. You have a. I bring my speakers. You have a platform to speak, right? We respect everybody's belief, even though we may disagree. But you have to speak. Let's fight, speech. fight for freedom. Fight yeah, for fight for freedom. freedom. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Doctors in our midst. Thank you. <laughs>